All right, and then once your live's gone, usually that's when it starts filming. All right, everyone. Hello, welcome, or welcome back to the Kia Hyundai channel. Today, I got Tim again. I'm back. He's back. And if you guys are new here, my name's Gabby. We review Kia or Hyundai vehicles, plus some bonuses. Yes, or not yesterday. Last week, we did a Genesis GV60. Very cool. Each, yeah, each and every day, every weekday at least, at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So this is a live video. We're doing this in real time, which means sometimes there's mistakes. Sometimes there's school buses driving through a lot. It happens. <laughs> but today's walk around is going to be on this beautiful 2023 Sportage LX all-wheel drive. Although this is considered a base or entry-level model in our Sportage lineup, it is absolutely stunning. It's very well equipped. It has an emphasis on safety features and it's at a fantastic price point. As usual for our live videos, we always start off with the three reasons why we do these videos. So number one, you may own a Kia or Hyundai vehicle and you may want to know more about the vehicle you have. We do a bunch of insider tips and tricks. Number two, you may be considering a new vehicle. We want Kia and Hyundai to be added to your list. And then number three. The third reason is we're standing in a real dealership at Brantford Kia. Yep. We also have <laughs> Brantford Hyundai, mm -hmm. part of our dealer group, and Owen Sound Hyundai. We're real car dealerships. Turn your mic cars. on. <laughs> is it working? Turn your mic on. <laughs> is it not working? No, mine's uh, working. Yours just isn't on here. Oh, this is wonderful. <laughs> Clearly a live video. There we go. Now it's this, on. This is what happens <laughs> when you do live videos. Yep. <laughs> this is an actual dealership, uh, mm -hmm. Brantford Kia here in Brantford, Ontario, Canada. Yep. And then we also have Brantford Hyundai, which is just... Down the road. Down the road from us. And then Owen Sound Hyundai and obviously Owen Sound, Ontario, up north. Mm -hmm. So we are real people selling real cars. With real microphones that don't work. With real work. microphones <laughs> that don't work. And... And in there we go, we want to go, how yeah. it works. In true fashion, we're going to show you guys how to join our lives if you are watching this in the future as a regular video. If you want to join us, all you have to do is go to our YouTube page. It's called the Kia Hyundai channel, very fitting. We review Kia and Hyundai. And then go to the live tab over here. If it's around 2 p.m., you should be able to refresh the page. And then, da -da -da, today's live video is posted right over there. All you have to do is click on it like you would a regular YouTube video. It'll load you in, you may have to watch an ad, but you'll see what's different from a regular YouTube video is on the right, we have a live chat box. So you guys can ask us questions, you can make points, you can make comments about the car, you can even just say hi. We appreciate when you guys say hi. Um, and then, yeah, we can always go back and answer any questions we may have missed during the uh, intro. All right, so I'm gonna skip this and then we'll get right into today's video. So, like I mentioned earlier, Sportage LX all-wheel drive. There is technically one model below this vehicle, however, they are equipped exactly the same. The only difference is it's front-wheel drive. So the one cosmetic difference is you won't have an all-wheel drive badge on the vehicle, but everything else is the same. One of my favorite things that they've added to this vehicle from the start is full LED headlights, daytime running lights, repeater lights. It's absolutely sharp, very stunning, and super easy to see at night. I'm gonna have Tim pan over to our wall over here where you can see the cutoff. Super bright white lights. So if you've ever been blinded by other people with LED headlights, now it's your turn. They are very, very sharp, especially if you live in the country road or country areas, um, kind of like Brantford. They're very nice to have. Um, and then we'll take a closer look at this daytime running light. So it's almost like a boomerang shaped headlight. If you saw the old or previous generation Sportage, it kind of had a funky look to it. So they're still staying with a very different, distinct look. It's not a boring car. You don't see a ton of these on the road and they all blend in. We have the new key logo on the front grille as well and a blacked out grille finish here. One thing that you may not be able to see but is built into the grille is a radar sensor. And that is one of our safety features called forward collision avoidance. So it's built in there. What it does is it monitors the distance of the vehicle ahead of you and it senses you're coming up way too fast, way too close, or they slam on the brakes. It's gonna give you a warning. And if you fail to react, the vehicle will break for you and prevent a collision or avoid a collision at least. You can turn that off if you don't like it, but I think it's a great safety feature to have. For our wheels, the LX front wheel drive and all wheel drive share the same size and pattern. These are 17 inch machine finished alloy wheels with a mix of black and kind of an aluminum color as well. The aluminum tie is really nice with, it's kind of an aluminum chrome, I'd say. What do you say, Tim? Yeah, it's brushed aluminum. Yeah. Looks good. Um, so along our body lines here, and then of course at the bottom of the vehicle as well. Usually I'm not the biggest fan of black paint on cars, but I have to say it looks stunning on the Sportage. It looks very, very nice. We've got our turn signals here, our mirrors here. All black along the sides, black door handles, very sleek look. I really like how they added this kind of design element on the rear pillar. So we have, it's actually textured, so you guys can't feel it, but 
there is some texture there. And then we'll come to our rear. So check out these taillights. Now these aren't full LEDs, however, it's a mix of LED and bulbs. For our actual third brake light up here, it is an LED as well. So very, very bright. People are gonna see when you're braking or stopping. All right, and I'll have Tim zoom out a little bit while I open the trunk. So your release is right over here. We don't have a power trunk just yet, but it is hydraulic. It's super easy to access and open. This car was just detailed, so there's lots of water, but <laughs> we'll have a look. I'll try not to get sprayed on. <laughs> Tim's getting water on his head. <laughs> so summer mats that come with the car, a ton of trunk space. So the Sportage has drastically grown in size. It's now more so the shape or the size of cargo capacity of the previous model Sorento. So it's kind of gone into its own little class now. Super easy to fold down your rear seats. You have these levers here and they go down nice and easy in a 60-40 split. They're super easy to bring back up as well too. So if you do pick up passengers later, super easy to move. Underneath the floorboard, we do have a temporary spare tire. And there is still room on the sides to put whatever else you may need, whether it's a first aid kit or a blanket, there's room. We'll close this up. Actually, another cool feature I like to mention with this floorboard here is it's on a rail system. So you can actually pull it out and drop it lower. So you get, a, I think, what, two inches extra of mm -hmm. cargo room. So that's quite cool. And then it just locks back into place. There is a 12 volt outlet back there. So if you ever need an inflator, do a bike tire or a floaty if you have a beach day. And then the back is lit up as well, so you can find whatever you need at nighttime. We'll close this. And before we go to the side, I want to show you two things. So our backup camera is right over there. All of our vehicles come standard with heated seats and backup cameras. Two amazing things to have, almost must-haves. So you don't have to go up any trims to get those. And then we do have a rear wiper. It's just nicely hidden under this rear spoiler. So this gives the vehicle a much cleaner, more sleek look, and it also protects it from ice, snow, dirt, mud, anything, or even theft, I guess. No one's gonna rip your rear wiper off. You don't think of it, but it could happen. <laughs> but yeah, it's just a beautiful vehicle. We'll do one quick kind of walk around while I walk towards the driver's seat, and then we're gonna hop on in, and I'm gonna show you guys all the features it comes with standard. I guess I should also mention this is a Canadian spec vehicle. We do have a lot of um, European and American viewers, so I always like to point that out. For our interior, we do have cloth seats, and like I mentioned, they're heated for driver and passenger, three different levels. Lots of black accents inside, however, it's nicely broken apart with this almost carbon fiber-esque panel along the doors and the dash. For our door handle on the Sportage, we get this really cool shape. However, they didn't make it so that it looked cool but wasn't functional. It's still very easy to use. It's just your regular door handle. For our windows, they're all powered, of course. However, we do have an express up and down window for the driver. One of my favorites, especially if you frequent drive throughs or you like talking to people beside you at red lights. Super easy to bring down and bring back up, just one touch. Power mirror controls, they are heated, of course. Then over here, we have our brightness adjuster. So if you find your display is a little too bright or too dull for you at nighttime or during the day, you can quickly adjust that on the fly. You also have your traction control and your electronic parking brake. So all you gotta do is flip it up. You'll actually hear it engage and then drop it down. The steering wheel itself is this beautiful Kia logo or Kia emblem steering wheel. We have all our Bluetooth and hands-free options over here, or voice commands, I should say. I always say hands-free, but you do have to use your hands. So you got your talk button here, mode, which will cycle between your different media modes, whether it be AM radio, FM radio, or Bluetooth. Your volume, which you can conveniently press down to mute whatever it is you're listening to. And then our seek and track button, our phone, and then a custom favorite button. So it's really nice how Kia added this in because if you want that to be a shortcut to go to Bluetooth or if you want it to be an end call button, you can make that whatever you want essentially. On the right side here, we have some more driver assistance. So not we have cruise control, not only cruise control though, we also have our steering assistance button. It's really conveniently placed because you can quickly turn it on and turn it off if you decide you no longer want it. And you'll see when I press this button, it presented this new icon on our digital dash. So check that out, now it's gone, now it's back. That means it's now on. And a fun little trick I learned, instead of going through our menu systems to turn off the lane keep assist or the lane follow assist, you can actually hold this button, I think it's about three to four seconds, and our lane keep assist icon went away. So you don't have to dig through your settings to turn them back or, or on or back off. So very neat. Um, I guess while I'm talking about that, I should explain the differences. So the icon that has the car and the two lanes beside it is lane keep assist. That's gonna beep at you and kind of correct you whenever you start to depart from your lane without signaling your turn. 
The one next to it, the right one, that looks like a steering wheel and that you can easily press on your steering wheel is a steering assistant. So it's not only going to keep you centered in your lane, it's also going to take the curves of the road for you. So if you have your cruise control on and that, it feels almost like an autopilot. It's pretty cool. <laughs> now I'll have Tim come over to the right or on my passenger side and we'll take a look at everything else. Tim, come on in. <laughs> So go. I will say these seats are very, very comfy. And one thing or one benefit with cloth seats is they heat up so, so quickly to the point where it's very, very hot. However, Kia and Hyundai do drop down the heat once it senses it's too hot. So just for safety reasons, right? Our screen over here is an eight inch touchscreen display with these haptic buttons on the sides here. So you still have the benefit of using buttons if you don't want to dig through your screens. And here's one feature that's in this vehicle or our base vehicle that is not in our higher end Sportages and that's Apple CarPlay and Android Auto wirelessly. So if you press over here and then of course, if you have a phone that's compatible with it, it'll project straight onto your screen. You don't have to worry about bringing a cord with you. It's perfect if you're forgetful like me. Under setup, we can of course connect more Bluetooth devices, change our date and time, Wi-Fi hotspot, and even look at our climate control settings. You can also go to sound and adjust where you'd like your sound in the vehicle. So if you don't like your music too loud, but your kids or your rear passengers do, you can do this. I used to do that all the time with my parents because they hated loud music and I did, or, and I loved it. <laughs> um, we are volume control here, our tune and um, enter here. And then of course, just set up track seek, radio media, and another favorite button. So once again, you can make that whatever setting you frequent, um, or you can leave it empty. It's the world's your oyster, it's up to you. Our air vents are seamlessly blended in with our dash controls here. And then we have this really funky style right over here. So it kind of still ties in with the boomerang look that this vehicle has, almost like our headlight there. It looks really funky. Just the amount of detail and design that they put into this vehicle, you would expect it on a higher end trim, but no, it's standard. Over here, we also have a 12 volt charger, a USB in the center. So this is where you'll perform your software updates. And also if you want to connect some sort of media device. So let's say, um, a USB stick with music saved onto it or an iPod, you're going to use this one. We also have a USB-C, so this is compatible with most modern phones. A lot of them are coming standard with USB-Cs instead. Sorry, I'm just going to adjust the gimbal. It wouldn't be a Kia Hyundai video without a failing gimbal. And while I'm looking at the phone, I feel like this would be a great time to ask if you guys can give us some likes. Maybe we can get a new gimbal. <laughs> All right, this is bad. Okay, we'll hope that's better. <laughs> All our climate controls are right over here. So you have your fan conveniently placed here. You're gonna of course set it to zero to turn it off. The directions of our fan and of course our heated mirrors and heated rear windshield and our front windshield defroster. The actual temperature itself is set with this dial here. So super easy to use, max AC or max heat. Um, here's our heated seat controls like I mentioned. Your gear shift drive and terrain modes. So this is only available on the all wheel drive models on the Sportage, that's worth mentioning. But you can see while I adjust my drive modes here, our main cluster is gonna change. So we have normal, sport, smart. And then if I press it down like a button, we get snow, mud, and sand. That's gonna change your actual all wheel drive torque distribution. And then we'll head down here and you'll see we have our downhill brake assist, our auto hold, which holds you at a stop until you hit the gas our auto stop and start, which conserves a little bit of fuel. And then our parking camera, I can quickly press this and it'll show us our rear view camera on command. Now, whenever you throw this vehicle into reverse, it's automatically gonna show up your camera anyway, but this is just if you're parked, don't wanna take a look or double check your parking. Cup holders are over here and they are adjustable, so you can push them in if you don't have any drinks in your car. Let me just push them in real quick. And then you can easily press these buttons to pop them back out. They work with bigger cups too. So if you have one of those big uh, tumbler cups from, I don't know, Starbucks or anything, they actually hold them. It's perfect. Got some nice center console storage. It's quite deep. And then of course it is rectangular. So it's very easy to find pieces that fit in here, storage dividers. And then before we hop in the back, I'll show you guys our glove box. So it's gonna be filled with manuals. Well, we got enough room for the manuals. So there's a good amount of room in there. <laughs> Close this up and let's take a look at the rear seats. I'll come over to Tim's side so I can adjust those seats back up. So there's a little lever located right over here. I'm gonna flip myself. All you have to do is lift the lever, lift the seat, and your seats are up. Now, right now, they are completely straight. 
Um, I have the option of reclining them as I wish, and they actually go quite far. So now I'm much more comfortable. When it comes to legroom, I mean, Tim, you're not that short. <laughs> no. So Tim was sitting comfortably, and I have a really, really good amount of room. Um, I think another thing worth mentioning is the amount of foot room that's underneath the seat. So it's actually very high, and I could extend my foot very far back and be comfortable. So there's a lot of extra room there. We do have seat pockets for driver and passenger, and they are fully clothed, right? So you can put anything in there and not have it visible to anyone looking through your windows. We do get rear air vents and a little storage pocket that you can put phones or devices or literally anything. I'm gonna move over to the left and knock this down to show you guys our cup holder and armrest. So super, super comfy. Another thing with cloth is of course, it's, it's more uh, supple, so it kind of like lets you sink in a bit. It feels like a couch, it's very, very comfy. And then we do have lighting back here as well. So nice and bright, these are in LEDs. So everything's LED except your interior lights. Very, very bright. That's about it for the back of the Sportage, guys. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll touch on horsepower and torque as well, too. So it's a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine with 187 horsepower and 178 pound foot of torque with an eight speed automatic transmission and the towing capacity is 2,500 pounds Canadian. Those are the Canadian specs. I know in the, the European market, they vary a bit, but let's take a look at some of your guys' questions. Okay, I'm gonna flip the camera, Tim. Uh, set it down and we'll reset it. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. This is gonna be a little awkward for a second, guys. I'm sorry, we're gonna spend some quality time together. Whoa. Not always true. <laughs> this is a base model, yes. Yep, yes it is. Two births, yep. Yeah. Well, it's Hi, one hey, up Steve. from the base. How are you, Steven? Oh wow, this is horrible. What is going on? I think it's the... Uh... Okay. My EV6 oh, came perfect. from Korea, not the First US. Try. I bought from Bank of <laughs> That's right, Hanif. Okay. You're right, buddy. That was... I'm not going to watch this live later. <laughs> no. That was way too much close-up time. <laughs> <laughs> um, some, if not all, US-bound models besides specific specialty models are made in the US. Um, Sportage is made in Korea. So you're, if you're talking about uh, Telluride, uh, Sorento, um, Carnival is still built in Korea as well. Uh, so it depends what model you're speaking of. Uh, we know that K5 is built in West Point, Georgia. So is Telluride. And gas, ice engine, um, Sorrentos are built in and uh, just outside of Atlanta. So. Um, OK, I'm going to scroll up to the Try top. It. Um, what's the wait time on the Kia Niro over there? Toronto dealers are telling me 1.5 to 2 years. Yeah, they're probably correct. Mm -hmm. Don, that's, uh, that's probably a good estimate. <clears throat> um, they were giving us very small allotments, uh, like 2 and 3 units, that we could put uh, people on the, the pre-production list, essentially. Yeah. Um, but I, don't, I think they're correct. So a few months ago, Kia Canada had um, an order event, just like what they did for the EV6. So the EV6, they did 200 units. I believe it was 200 for the Nero 2, yep. if I'm yep. not mistaken. And a, a couple, quite a few people actually selected our dealership as their um, dealership of choice because they'll let you pick. And uh, we just got an email from Kia Canada last week asking to confirm their color choice and that we should be getting a car for them soon. So yeah, hopefully so in the next few months. Yeah, so that was, what, the first maybe six people? Yeah, I think it was a very low number. So, but your your Toronto dealer is, is correct there, Don. <laughs> um, Angel said I missed most live most of our live videos last week, and I feel like I cheated, even though I watched the recaps. But I'm back today. Hi, team. Angel is back. It's so nice to have you back. Oh, we love seeing you here. You always ask good questions. <laughs> um, let me scroll down a bit. Hi, team. Any models have the 19-inch wheels, and are the screens larger in the other models? Is that why there's no wireless CarPlay? Yes. So. Two of our, uh, three of our models of the Sportage have 19 inch wheels. So one above this, the X-Line, and then the X-Line Limited, as well as the EX Premium. So the EX Premium and the X-Line Limited will have the larger screen and they'll have no Apple Car, no wireless CarPlay. Right. Um, uh, Martin's asking, Martin Fernandez is asking about Carnival weights, uh, especially on SX models. Um, yeah, you're probably a year to a year and a half now. Um, obviously, with the higher trim levels, it's, it's taking a little bit longer. Mm 
How much does a GT line cost? GT line for what? Um, I know in some countries they have a GT line Sportage. We don't have that though. Yeah. So I don't have a price for you on a GT line Sportage, but I can give you GT line EV6 pricing. Someone's <laughs> asking about EV6 video and gives tribute to Stinger. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen it yet. Mm -mm. Yeah, sorry. Um, is inventory for the Sportage hybrid still crazy low? I lucked into this hybrid SX Prestige only one month wait time. So that's an American one. Yes. Prestige. Um, there, there's not an abundance of them. PHEVs sure. and HEVs don't exist. So that's, yeah. You're, yeah, in the US, I would think it's about the same as us. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Child seat. We don't have a child yeah. seat right now, but when Mike comes back, we should have a child seat again. We'll, I don't we'll have a one, child. <laughs> we'll get one fitted into a car for you so you can actually see it. That's that's a great question. Um, is matte finish only on the PHEV? So in Canada, we actually don't get matte finish on any of our hybrids. Um, we get it on the regular gasoline Sportage, and it's called Shadow Matte Gray. So it's darker than the EV6 matte. It's almost like a gravity gray if it was matte. Yes, yeah. yeah. Um, Gabby has a doggy child, that's right, and she's huge. <laughs> um, does Canada get the SX Prestige for a carnival? No, so no we way. don't get an SX Prestige, we just get an SX, which is, um, I believe, very similarly equipped. So we get the VIP lounge chairs, the dual sunroofs, all the bells and whistles, ventilated seats. Um, Canadians love Tim Hortons. Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had it for the first time underrated. Yeah, they, they do some things good. I will say the ones close to us, they mess up a lot. There was a heck of a lineup at Starbucks in Mexico, so. Oh my gosh. I tell you, Americans like uh, their Starbucks for sure. I bet they probably have a lot of fun flavors there too. Like oh, probably. some different yeah. things, right? Um, let's see. I'm back in my apartment in Georgia eating McDonald's till I moved to Canada in about two months. Oh my gosh, you're moving? I hope you're oh, moving close cool. to Brantford. <laughs> Um, please do watch the EV6 tribute to the Stinger. We want your reaction. So should we film a reaction to that video? I think that'd be cool. See if I can get anybody on board. Yeah, that'd be <laughs> very cool. Um, let me scroll up a bit, see if there's any Sportage comments or questions. Um, um, US, yeah. Will we ever see the 2023 PHEVs for Sportage in Tucson's go on sale in Canada? So we're gonna slowly start getting them. But I believe we're getting our first one when, next month. When someone says go on sale, are they going to oh. discount them? No. No. Um, availability is so low that I would be shocked. Um, we sell at MSRP here at the dealership. We don't do what's called a market adjustment. We don't add things onto our cars and make our customers pay for them. Unless they want it. Unless <laughs> they physically want it and we disclose that to them. So yeah. uh, that's, that's a big thing with us here. I know, and it doesn't matter what brand or or whatever you're looking at. I know dealers are doing that and they feel that that's right for them. It's just not right for us. Yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, someone asked what is the price? So this one's priced at 30795 Canadian, I should say. Yeah, Canadian dollars. It's about $2,000 more than the front wheel drive. And like I mentioned, they have the same amount of equipment, just added all wheel drive. So you'll get the same features. Um, Glenda said I tuned in a little late. No problem, I forgive you. <laughs> um, eagerly waiting the Sportage to be launched in India. Yeah, so you guys don't get the Sportage? That's strange, I thought they would. Seltos, I know. Seltos, but... they have factories for Seltos. Yeah. 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 Um, I think... Someone asked about a K5? Where's that? I don't see that. I dismissed it. Um... Do all the trims have those empty spaces on the dashboard next to the infotainment? So if you're talking about on the right side, yes, it's just a clear dash, empty dash, which Clean. is quite nice. Yeah. Um, but they still have a little bit of, um, so if you get the X-Line, X-Line Limited, you have a wood grain trim, wood grain, oh my gosh. And then the other trim levels have that carbon fiber-esque material. Um, I think Tim would look great in a blue Kia EV9, sweet ride. Of course, blue, it's gotta match the suit, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Um, I believe in the U at least in the USA, EX and above have full screens. Yes, so it's the same in Canada. Um, the EX and up will have the 12.3 inch display, which is a very very nice display. Um, so someone's asking any information on the K5 2023 <laughs> model. Um, it's, it's a carryover. It's, it's a carryover, but it's such a, a small. We filmed them already. Yeah, we we had a couple through here, but unfortunately. 
um, those people waited close to a year for those cars. They're very hard to get. U.S. is uh, U.S. is selling the car like crazy versus uh, the Canadian market, so they they've swamped the marketplace for sure. Um, someone asked if they can see the key, and absolutely. Yeah. So this is our Kia key. This is not the smart key, however, it's very similar in style. Lock, unlock, and then panic button are all over here, and then it has the typical switchblade type key. So it just pops out like that and then tucks back in. So super sleek. I like how our keys aren't too big, so they can actually fit in, especially women's pants. They have tiny pockets. They fit. <laughs> they fit perfectly. Um, Which trim sport level has sunroof, EX plus and up? Which sportage, sportage. trim? Yeah. EX and up. EX, no EX, EX, plus tip. EX premium. EX and up. And SX. Yeah, EX, EX premium, premium. and oh, actually right. X-Line limited. X no more SX. Limited. That's right. <laughs> Are you new here? Yeah, I'm just brand new. <laughs> um, do you guys know any good dealerships in Alberta for the Kia Sting or any yes. of your sister companies? Yeah, there's uh, there's two dealers in Alberta that well, I... They're not our sister stores, no. I should say. They're not no. part of our group. They're just good guys. Um, if you look up uh, Kelly Temple and his son, um, he's the general manager at one of the Kia stores, I'm sorry, and the other one's off of 130. Um, that my son bought his carnival from as well. So uh, they're two good guys. Uh, him and his son are the dealer principals of both stores. Kelly Temple, and I'm sorry I can't remember uh, his son's name, but uh, they're good two stores in, in uh, Calgary and Calgary South. Awesome. So we have some connections out there. <laughs> Hello from I South say, Africa. I have no idea. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Um, Gabby, do you know of any good apartments in Brantford? I don't really <laughs> want to buy a house right away just because moving from Houston to a new city nearly a thousand miles away is pretty rough. Yeah. I actually don't know. I know there's an apartment complex right, right across, across the, the street from, the from us. That would be pretty close. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't live in Brantford. I just work here. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Um, oh, Paul, the Kia dealership here in Vancouver is charging $3,800 markup plus $2,700 VIP package for, for a Forte. For a Forte? Uh, it's a shame. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh my gosh. That's, yeah, that's insane. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. I, I would say it's not worth it. It's a great car, but that's a lot of add-ons. A yeah. lot. Yeah. Um, okay. Look near Linden Road and Wayne Gretzky Boulevard area. You'd be hey, right Sandy. beside us. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> um, all right, guys. I think we should probably end off on today's video. It's a bit of a longer one. As always, we will be back here tomorrow. Um, no Hyundai car. To Actually, we might. Mike we'll from Hyundai won't be here. Sorry? Yeah, we can see if we can find one. Well, we'll try to find a Hyundai. I do know Wednesday, though, we will have a fun video. So it was a car that we filmed last week compared to a car we filmed two weeks ago. They're both performance electric vehicles. I will not say any more. But Ooh. I'm sure you guys can figure it out. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow and hopefully the rest of the week. Have a good rest of your day. Take care. Brush your hair. <laughs>